Hi everybody, welcome to Full Throttle Remastered. Oh man. Another 1990s LucasArts point and click adventure game. God damn. Uh, <laughs> this one uh, has been remastered lovingly, I'm sure, by Double Fine. Uh, Tim Schafer and co. Uh, it came out a couple of days ago, but I was in the middle of playing Thimbleweed Park, so maybe the timing wasn't incredible there, but uh, most people probably finished Thimbleweed Park uh, way quicker than I did. So there was a bit of overlap. But anyway, um, I've been looking forward to this coming out for quite some time. I have played through, uh, for some background and some context, uh, Full Throttle before, but only once, and I was very small, and I don't remember any of it. I, I must have been about, like, 10 or 11 years old when this came out, and me and my friend played it. He got it for, like, his birthday. We played through it. We finished it. Uh, it was fun. I have fond memories of it, uh, but I just don't remember all of, like, the... Um, characters or the bits and pieces or the puzzles or anything so uh, we'll probably get stuck no doubt uh, it'll probably be a bit rippy at parts but I'm sure we'll persevere and get through uh, and it'll be great excellent I'm excited I hope you are too let's do it oh man cha 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 oh we were so fucking excited when this game came out like it just looked awesome like the graphics and everything were so Whenever good at the time I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Uh oh. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. Oh. I know your plan, Rip Burger. I remember. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir. That's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know, I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know how and killer instincts that I respect. Why? Thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Oh, should I nah, one your ears two? are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Oh, here we go. Here they come. It's the gang. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Now there go some boys I can ride with. <laughs> Step on it. Let's find out who they are. No, oh, God. Oh, uh, isn't the music great? No, just me? Ah, it's so fucking good. Full throttle. Oh man. Mark Hamill, what? I did my what? Mark Hamill, okay, great. Mark Hamill's in this. I don't remember Mark Hamill being in this. I mean, to be fair though, Mark Hamill was in Wing Commander three. It must have been Wing Commander three, or is it Wing Commander four? Mark Hamill does have a sordid past being in uh, video games. He was definitely in one of the Wing Commanders. It was the one that came out when Windows 95 came out and it barely worked on any computers. It was like really hard to get working and stuff. Uh, I remember me and my friend wanted to play it so bad too. It was like all like fucking um, motion captured, like full motion captured. It had like all these actors and stuff and it was fucking awesome, but we could barely play it. So 
So, a lot of this is like pretty familiar. And it's some of it's coming back, but honestly, for the life of me, I couldn't tell you at this point any of the puzzles. Like, I can't remember picking up a single goddamn thing in this game. I barely remember any of the characters. Like, uh, and it's it, it's nice though. It's nice that they've remastered this so that I can just play through it again and enjoy it again. As I'm sure I enjoyed it when I was like, uh, you know, 10 or whatever. <laughs> nice. Hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come <laughs> our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Oh, here it is. You're called? Oh, do you know what this is making me feel like playing? Sam and Max hit the fucking road. Holy shit. Yeah, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right. You got him. Who's the guy that drove over my car? It was me, motherfucker. It's Ben. Oh. What could <laughs> possibly be taking so long? <laughs> maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm. An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Uh oh. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, How dare you? I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish? Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. Oh my god. Here we go. This is where it's, it's gonna be a murder mystery. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rot Wheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. Uh -oh. And that's your last word. That's, that's it. Right, well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. Oh. <sighs> Bolus, <sighs> take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little two hundred pound loose end. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer. Oh, come on, Polecats. You're not going to fall for that, are As you? As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well, then, let's roll him, boys. Oh, shit. Yahoo! Corbill, here we come. Nice. Thanks for letting me... Okay, so uh, we can skip dialogue, commentary, switch render mode. We can walk to open verb skull, confirm an attack with, uh, the, with the left click. And then right click is open inventory, examine inventory item, and change equipment on our bike. We can also skip cutscenes. We can skip bike fights on the bike. And we can... Uh, we cheat with shift by doing object highlight, which we will never need to do in this game, I'm sure. Alright, fine. 
here we are in a dumpster, I guess. Are we in the dumpster? We're definitely in the dumpster. We're out of the... Fuck me, the graphics are so great, aren't they? Okay, so we can lick the dumpster. I'm not putting my lips on that. Come on, Ben. You fucking kick the dumpster. Give it a kick. Take that. Nice. And punch it as well. I've touched it enough. Okay, let's see. There's some boxes and stuff here. This is a tough one because you don't... You, you pixel hunt kind of, but not really. Let's I've pick up... I've touched it enough. Okay, there's nothing to do with the dumpster here. I thought maybe there'd be like a string or something. So like maybe a crowbar or whatever, but no, there's not. Okay, you want to go in here? We'll open the door. It's a bit like Grim Fandangelo, isn't it? A little tiny bit. Open up. Oh, they closed it. They left and they actually closed the door. Unfrickin' believable. Okay, let's use our bike then. I guess we just have to use our bike and, and get going. Ben will tell us if we're doing the wrong thing. He lost his keys. Some joker took my keys. Son I don't like that. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's look at this sign. It's the only sign that we can look at here. The kickstand. Okay, we have to go back and check the dumpster for our keys, just in case it's back here. Let's look in the dumpster. I've woken up and worse. Okay, no, the keys are not... Of course, the keys probably aren't in the dumpster, right? Maybe we can get, like, a, a bottle of... Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. Okay, let's kick him. Nah, he can flatten his own boxes. Come on, you don't have to... What about these ones? Kick these ones. Come on, Ben. Take out your aggression. You've just woken no. up. Can we... There's a sign here. What does it say on it? Warning. Do not play in or around dumpster. Do not kick dumpster. Do not sleep in dumpster. Usage of this container for disposal of human remains may be a violation of local health ordinances. Do not sleep in dumpster. I've been doing it wrong all of this time. God damn it. Okay, so we can go this way. Uh, we're out in the great wide open now. I don't think we can actually leave here until we get the keys, though. Like, I don't think you're allowed to just walk on the road and stuff. Or maybe you are. I'd, ne I'd never catch up to them on foot. No, okay. Good. The kickstand is closed. Maybe we can, like, kick the door? Let's kick the door to the kickstand instead of knocking on it. Okay, we're in. Nice. I, uh, fixed your door. <laughs> Nice. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Okay, sure, no problem. Let's talk to him. Let's lick him. Hi, we're here to Looks lick him. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Um, uh, where'd everyone? I want. I'm looking for my I'm keys. I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? Um, let's punch him in the face. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, Now, yeah. don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why? I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. Oh, what okay. else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man, here are your keys, all right? Thank you. Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They Which didn't one? Do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. But wait, let's open the cash Nothing register. To grab. It's empty. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Um, what's this like? It's a monitor. Okay, let's pull this thing down too. Let's make a real mess The monitor here. doesn't have any controls. There's a badger here. Let's pick up this badger. You never know when you might it's need a badger. Its feet are nailed to the piano. That is so cruel. How could you nail that poor badger's feet to the piano? You son of... Well, anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, let, we'll use the bike. Now that we've got the keys, we should be able to use the bike. And get out of here. Nice. <laughs> Okay, off we go. To see about a ambush on the polecats. When I'm on the road, I'm 
indestructible. <laughs> nice. No That's how I feel me. when I'm at my computer playing video games. But they try. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta fight guys, I think. I can't remember. What were the buttons to fight guys? Hey! Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? That's right, it's me. Yeah, and you're in my way. Okay, I we'll think get we can. Used to it, bud. I think we can like when maneuver out of there. Hit the road, we own it. I don't think so, bitch. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Oh heavens! Whatever <laughs> will we do? <laughs> that does it. All right, let's Come punch this guy. On, kitty. We're gonna knock let's him right get off. Down. I think we can move the bike a little. Okay, let's switch. Let's just let's just kick the shit out of him. We're gonna brute force with our feet. Got him. <laughs> oh wow, that was really satisfying. Yeah, we're the baddest mamma jamma on the road. Oh shit. This is awkward. <laughs> he looks like Don Draper. Oh shit. Uh oh. I find sometimes the music stops very abruptly. They had guns. Malcolm Cole's dying wish. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Rip Burger. As soon as we're feeling ready, willing, and able, we're coming after you, bitch. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now, I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Oh, shit, no. Not a person with a gas mask. What happened to my legs? I just got two peg legs. What happened to my arms? You got peg arms. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Okay. Who are you? How does it look? I gotta get out of this town fast. Well, let you get back to work. Who are you? Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last you have name? have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Oh, that sounds pretty quaint. This is, is this an authorized Corley Service this Center? This is an authorized Corley Service Center. <laughs> now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Uh, where did you learn where'd bikes? Where did you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I, I did mean, that we once. we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. Yeah, I but did that with the car one he time. he took off one day and he never came back. Wait, that so didn't happen I to me though. So I switched to toasters. Okay, good one. You live in this town? You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust, or they leave. Which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. Um, how does it look? How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And okay. someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? Yeah, I, I can't can believe finish it. without one. And I'll last get you but one, not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay. Um, I gotta get out of this town fast. Where am I supposed to find all this Where stuff? Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Um, okay, I'll figure it out myself. Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. And whatever blows your hair back. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. All right, thanks, Mo. All right, well, there we go. Well and truly, we are stuck in between a rock and a hard place because our bike is, is all fucked up. And Ben has um, sustained some injuries, but he's feeling better, I guess. And we've met Mo here, and a reporter took our pictures and stuff. Full throttle. We're, we're, we're in the thick of it, and it feels great. It's uh, so far so good. Uh, remastered. It's uh, nice. Like Kyrez, very playable stuff like that so uh much like day of the tentacle was if you remember me playing that when it was remastered it came out like last year or whatever that was pretty fun too great we'll be back next time with some more full throttle remastered where we relive uh 1990s glory days lucas arts point and click adventure games once again on this channel if that's not for you um there's probably something else running alongside all of this uh right now so you can watch that instead and, of course, I stream and stuff, too, so you can maybe watch that. And if none of that appeals to you, well, I'm sorry. We'll just uh, we'll figure something out at some point, I'm sure. Great. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.